today in this video i am going to talk about category of nx2 first of all let me talk about the annexes of marpol and marpol is imo international convention for the, for the prevention of pollution from ships all of the annexes are introduced to save the environment more importantly marine environment annex 2 controls the discharge of noxious liquid substances carried in bulk at sea and there are several recording books in a chemical tanker which carry all these noxious liquid substances in bulk form such as cargo record book where a responsible officer must include all the records regarding the cargo load and discharge procedure and arrangement manual which is produced as ship specific guidance as to comply with the marpol annex 2 regulations the third one is sampep smpep shipboard marine pollution emergency plan so all these initiatives has ultimate target to control the discharge of noxious liquid substance at sea now as per annex 2 there are four categories of cargo depending upon the severity of the impact on the marine environment these categories are named as category x category y category z and other substances these four categories as per severity category x is on top and then category y and then category z and then other substances chemical tanker that is carrying category x cargo they cannot discharge it to the sea after they discharge the bulk amount to the terminal or any discharge facility because it is having the most severe effect on the marine environment that is why the authority decided not to discharge any residues to the sea at all if a chemical tanker carries category y cargo they cannot discharge the residues however they like after the bulk discharge of the cargo to control the marine environment to so to control the discharge of residues of Y category cargo, the authority has introduced a limitations. These limitations, these limitations are, are based on two things. One is quality, another one is quantity. So they have introduced some kind of limitations on quality and quantity of the residues you can discharge into the sea after the bulk discharge of your cargo. And if a chemical tanker carries category Z cargo, they also cannot discharge into the sea however they like. So they also have to follow the guidelines developed by the authority. And that limitation is less stringent than category Y. That means compared to category Y, category Z is much less hazardous to the marine environment and thus they having mass less stringent procedure for discharge category Z cargo after the bulk discharge of the cargo to the terminal or the shore facility. And the last one is other substances. They have been evaluated as not harmful for the marine environment. So there is no any limitations of discharge into the sea. But so if we summarize our study about category X, category Y and category Z, category X, category Y, category Z and other substances. We can say the category X having major hazard for the marine environment. Category Y has Y are deemed to present hazards but still not as not major hazards like category X. Category Z are de deemed to present a minor hazard to the marine environment. And and category OS that is other substances does not have any does not present any harm to the marine environment. Now the question may come how we can how when and how we when now question may come when and how chemical tankers discharges the residues to the sea. There are two ways. One is after discharging of bulk cargo to the facilities and another one is carrying carrier carriers of ballast in the carriers of ballast in the cargo tank after discharging carriers of ballast of carriers of ballast into the cargo tank after discharging it is also maybe possible so both of them they want to control with the quality and quantity that is applicable for category x category y and that is applicable for category y and category category y and category z 
category x they said cannot discharge at all and category other substances we can discharge there is no there is no bindings on it part of the